Welcome everyone, this is Micah with the MACO Diagnostic Team. Uh, and I wanted to uh, basically start today off with uh, the first in a video series for the new Maximus 3.0. Uh, as part of the, the, the marketing team's desire to get you more information, uh, how to register the tools, how to connect them to the internet, how to make the most out of your demo, uh, it was our initiative to get you as much information as possible. <laughs> to start off is, hey, what's in the box? Uh, when you get this thing, we don't want it to be unfamiliar territory. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into, boom, Maximus 3.0. Go through and uh, get this tape cut and open this thing up. All right, got two boxes, gray and red. I'm going uh, gray. Uh, looks like a new style box than what we've seen in the past. Uh, definitely more compact. It's probably going to fit in the drawer of the toolbox easier. And it looks like we have landed on the uh, manufacturer specific adapters, the OBD1 adapter kit, if you will. Um, looks like, a, like I said, just laid out better. It's easier to read the, uh, the identifying tags for what they are. Um, your power cables and Y adapter to, uh, to hook it in. And um, nice. Alright, here we are, uh, box number two. This has got the, uh, the red tabs on it. A bit heavier here. I think this is the more important one. Pop this thing open. And uh, yes, here we are. We're, uh, we're welcomed with uh, our new uh, quick start guide and the registration packet. Go through. And what am I really looking for? Uh, here it is. Maximus 3.0. Guys, take a look. Feast your eyes on what we got here. Um, it looks like uh, the, the screen protector has a pretty interesting overlay on it, something you have to peel off to start this process. But nice big color, uh, you know, rubberized corners and an embedded stand. What? Let's see. Oh, I love it. Perfect. We have uh, the, uh, the vehicle communication interface, the VCI, the Bluetooth dongle, if you will. Uh, a little different shape than what we've seen in the past here. Uh, serial number on the back of it. And um, I'm going to bet that's going to work with the color matched OBD2 extension cable. Uh, this is what plugs in and makes this guy longer. It certainly makes it easier to use, easier to see, harder to forget. Uh, but definitely a different design than what we've had in the past. Feels and looks a lot more robust. So that's interesting. That's nice. I like that. Uh, we have. Uh, USB charging cable, can't live without those, and of course the uh, the USB you know 110 wall you know charging puck to go with it, and of course <laughs> life wouldn't be the same without uh, the Matco stylus. Moving right along, we got uh, what's behind uh, cardboard box number three, and it is uh, the one and only in included docking station. Nice. Uh, real similar to what we've seen in the past. Uh, it definitely looks like the pins are larger. Uh, looks like we have a spot for the stylus. Um, and I'm willing to bet we... Perfect. I like it. 